Hello, everybody. Welcome to News 5 Now on this Thursday evening. I am Devin Walsh. Just wrapped up our 5 o'clock newscast. So happy to be with you as you're watching us on WKRG.com and our WKRG Facebook page. This is our chance to connect with you and you can share your opinions with us. We've got a lot to talk about tonight, so let's get right to our big stories. Our number five story makes us very happy, something we love to talk about, and that is some good news. As you know, WKRG hosted a telethon yesterday to raise money for the Dumas Wesley Community Center here in Mobile. They really have had some challenges with grants lately and needed people to step up, and boy, you sure did that. During yesterday's telethon, we raised more than $50,000 for the organization, and that money is going to go toward educational programs for children and the elderly. It will also help homeless women and children. Definitely this money going to make a big difference in the lives of a lot of people. I have been to the Dumas Wesley Center many times and I see the impact that they have made on the community. So thank you. And if you would like to support this local organization where all the money stays right here in Mobile, search Dumas Wesley on WKRG.com. Number four, Florida State Parks have some of the most pristine ecosystems and unique wildlife in North America. Well, a plan announced this week would add pickleball courts, golf courses, disc golf, and resort-style lodging to at least eight Florida State Parks. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection calls the plan the Great Outdoors Initiative. And the idea is to expand public access to increase uh, outdoor activities and provide some new places to stay overnight. So starting next week, they're going to have meetings across the state to talk to people, to see what people think about this proposal. One environmental watchdog group is encouraging people to complain about the development via email and attend those meetings to express concerns. Number three, a face you may recognize tonight when you tune in to CBS or WKRG.com to watch the Democratic National Convention. Mobile native Shamari Figures will be addressing the huge crowd tonight. He'll be on stage before Kamala Harris accepts the Democratic nomination for president. Figures is a face you recognize. He is the son of State Senator Vivian Davis Figures and the late civil rights attorney Michael Figures and he is the Democratic candidate running to represent Alabama's newly formed 2nd Congressional District, which includes part of Mobile County. He graduated from LaFleur High School, went on to the University of Alabama. He has worked in the Obama administration, and he will be facing off with Republican candidate Caroline Dobson in November. Number two, Baldwin County marching bands are rolling in style this year. Every high school has at least one brand new truck to haul band equipment. Isn't that great? The school system spent one and a half million dollars to buy 10 trucks. So Robert Stale's marching band is not only one of the largest bands in Baldwin County, but the state of Alabama with 220 members. The Golden Bear band director tells us their new truck will protect and safely transport hundreds of instruments, speaker systems, podiums, water coolers, and all the stuff that you need. And a good truck will help with all that gear last a little bit longer too. Baldwin County, by the way, is one of the only school systems in the entire country with a fleet of trucks like these. So great news for the bands over in Baldwin County. They add so much to many sporting events in our area. And number one, they stole a truck, they crashed it through the front doors of a gas station, loaded up an ATM, and then just sped away. The bold crash and grab heist at the Quick Fill on North Blue Angel Parkway was caught on surveillance video. Look at that, quite elaborate. Well, the Escambia County Sheriff's Office says the three bad guys had to ram the front of the store several times before they could bust it enough to get inside and grab that ATM. They abandoned the pickup and pieces of the ATM on Lillian Highway. So if you recognize that truck or you know anything about this, go ahead and contact the Sheriff's Office. And that is a look at our big stories at this hour. Okay, now it's time for our question of the day where you get to share your opinions with us. And so we asked you, 
What is your dream job? That was our question of the day on Facebook. And now I'm going to read your comments. Okay. Dustin Gibbs says, my dream job would be a radio DJ. That'd be a lot of fun. Lisa, oh, what a nice response. I'm a caregiver for the elderly. What better job could I ask for? We need more people like Linda. Steve says, a family farm to pass down. Let's see, Tina says, my dream job is rescuing all the animals in need. Sally's kind of on that animal theme, saying she would like to work at a cat rescue. Gail, a lot of people are feeling this one. Retirement would be the dream job after 50 years of work. And he says he highly recommends it. And uh, this would be fun, Aaron. I'd love to work in set and costume design and turn my hobby of 13 years into something more. So thanks to all of you for sharing your dream job. I feel like I'm living my dream job here at WKRG. Love working here. So thank you so much. All right, now we are going to move on to our Facebook poll. Definitely a much heavier, more serious topic. And we asked you, Alabama has set a nitrogen death execution date for Carrie Grayson. We asked you, do you support the death penalty? And here are those results. 91% of you say yes, you favor capital punishment. 9% of you voted no, that you don't believe in executions. Thank you so much for your responses to our poll. So tomorrow we'll be reading your comments when you answer our next question of the day. So our next question of the day is, what is one memento you will cherish forever? Can you think about that one thing that you're like, I'm never gonna get rid of this. This is a prized possession. So be thinking about that and share your comments. Also, we want you to participate in our Facebook poll and, and the, the poll question is this, and this makes us really excited. High school football is back. Will you be in the bleachers? Are you gonna support our local team? So vote in that Facebook poll. I know that I will be answering yes to that because I am gonna be in the bleachers for sure this high school football season. But I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight for News 5 Now. You can enjoy the rest of the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. And then be sure to tune in for WKRG News 5 at 6. As I talked about, high school football officially kicks off tonight. Not a ton of games tonight, but we do have a big game. And News 5's Taylor Boyson is live tonight at the Fairhope Spanish Fort game. You know those Baldwin County rivals. So be sure to tune in tonight for WKRG News 5 at 6 o'clock. Meantime, I'm Devin Walsh. I want to thank all of you for joining us. And I personally will see all of you tomorrow for WKRG News 5 at 9 a.m.